Hey people out there, how are you doing? It's Simon from Bizler again. Hi and welcome to a new video concerning what's new Siemens NX 1926. It's a rhyme to recognize by the way. Today I want to talk about part family. I did a video already about coloration in an associative manner by using synchronous modeling group face and I thought it's time to show you some further details about how to implement your coloration into a part family table and by the way there are some improvements within the part family table I'd like to show you today and I can show you some further things as well as you see there's an outer thread and I'm just gonna double click it you can see it's a new command layout but that's not it by the way you can switch to detail afterwards and now you also have a huge number of thread types available within the drop down even for detailed threads and as I'm using different materials different colored ABS materials it for me also makes sense to define a color via part family table but of course I have different length of this part as well so length is defined in here and I'm gonna double click it and show you another enhancement within NX 1926 its value from start limit so you can define your start position independent from the overall length as you can see the overall length is defined within one step independent from the start value there is no calculation or formula entry necessary anymore what i'm gonna do here is define an expression maybe something you can learn because most people don't know that it's possible to define a user expression within the value definement it's just name equal value and if i hit the enter button you can see the value is fixed and if i close this command you can see there is a new user expression called l for length is 55 so simple let's start part family now no there's something i forgot i want to define a color first and i already did a video concerning this issue which i'm now going to link to the upper right of this video it's about well it's about group phase it's synchronous modeling but it's not a real modification of your part it's just a collection of faces so don't worry about that and you can easily use something like tangent faces which i did in the linked video and the cool thing about it is that your coloration which i'm going to do afterwards is associated to my tangent faces and this tangent faces selection rule is also associative so it's a kind of associative coloration in this case i'm going to use body faces which is pretty simple and here is my group face and well i'm just going to rename it to well something like green and right click and use the well it's not that new but I still am sure some people don't know there is a possibility of assigning a color related to a feature assign feature color and I'm gonna use specify color and pick a color from my palette I'm gonna use emerald green and hit OK and what I'm gonna do now I want a separate color as well I'm gonna copy and paste this Control C Control V and just middle mouse button to complete the copy and I'm gonna rename it to yellow and of course pick a different color right click assign feature color and I'm gonna use yellow therefore that's it and depending on your timestamp or suppression stage you can see the color switches and the body itself or the faces itself maintain they are not modified so it's just a different coloration that's it don't worry about synchronous modeling in that case it's fully okay let's start part family table now part family can be found below tools part family tables and you can see the dialogue is new since a couple of releases but there's a kind of table on your right and if you create a new part family you can see the part family table is fully included within Siemens and X and then you have a few advantages here for example Usually when you're in Excel to define your parameters and value and need to add another column You have to switch to Siemens and X to access this command, but it's not required anymore because it's all in one What I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna select one of my expressions. It's L and add it to the end as you can see it's upon here and I'm gonna use features as well to scroll down a little bit and use my coloration therefore and add it to the end the rest I think it's clear there's not that much which is new 
These typical Excel add-ins which we had to use to update model or create parts etc are not required anymore. You have it all upon here within one dialog which is pretty pretty cool. It's much easier to work on one screen because you can update from here and you directly see the result etc. There's no switching required anymore. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to rename it in a pretty simple manner as you can see. And I'm just going to use my cursor and tap buttons therefore. So this is to tap and I'm going to use cursor to scroll down however. And I'm going to use a value of 55 here. I'm going to use a value of 70 here. And this one is green and it's not yellow so I'm going to use no and this is not green but it's yellow I'm going to use yes therefore that's it all right so I could apply this or add this command but what else can we do of course we can check our results so I'm going to select one of my lines from here and now I can apply my values to my parent part and you can see a suppression within here and you can also try this one as well of course you can create your members as usual you can save the list as usual Everything is there as it was before. It's just simplified and it's a all-in-one solution. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope there's something you can learn from it. There were some enhancements shown from NX1926. If you do not use NX1926 yet, no problem because the coloration is possible since I guess NX8 and every one of you has NX8 or earlier. However, I'm going to proceed tomorrow with some further information about the new sketch solver. If you haven't subscribed yet, I recommend you to do it because you will be updated about new uploads automatically if you hit the ring button as well. I wish you a very nice day. Goodbye.